Hey YouTube, are you looking for a good way to keep the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, whatever you're trading, constantly updated in something like Google Sheets? Uh, let me introduce you today to a tool known as API Connector. So instead of basically just copying and pasting the stuff into Google Sheets, which does work, but you have to go back and forth and do this every single day uh, to keep it updated or hourly or however often it is. There's a simple no-code way to programmatically update this data directly from CoinMarketCap. And we'll do that by accessing a tool on the website mixedanalytics.com. So if you head over there in your browser, once we get over to Mixed Analytics website, you'll see there's a tool called API Connector here on the bottom right corner. So if we open that, we're going to head over to the Google uh, Workspace Marketplace. Um, from here, you can install it. I already have it installed in my account, so I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so go ahead and get a copy of that. And when you head over to Google Sheets, you should see a copy of that here. Uh, API connector, just like that. Um, now, what we're going to do now is head over to CoinMarketCap and learn what an API is. An API stands for an Application Programming Interface. And essentially, you can think of an API as a way that different services and websites on the internet uh, communicate with each other. Um, so if you want to be able to pull this raw data at any time without having to manually copy and paste it over, uh, we'll connect directly to the API and be able to update it every time we run. So let's go ahead and look for that now. Typically, if there's a public API, it would be here at the bottom. Uh, so we can see here it says crypto API. Let's go ahead and pop that open. Um, and this account will require a login. I already have one. Um, so it's not going to be too difficult for me. Um, since I already have it, it's going to pop me right over. Uh, once you have your account set up, you should be directed to a screen like this. And you'll be able to have a certain amount of uh, calls per day. right? So every time you refresh that API, you're going to use one of these calls. Note, this is not connected to your free limit on API Connector side. Currently, API Connector offers eight calls for free per day, or as you can see, this service gives you roughly 333. So um, there's a little bit of a mismatch there. Um, so if you're running into a request limit, it's probably from our side if you're using the free account. Now, uh, what can we start doing with this? Let's go ahead and start by heading over to the API documentation. This is essentially going to show us all the different information and services that we can connect to to pull data from CoinMarketCap. Now, in general, with most APIs, uh, there's going to be a unique ID that links to the given um, data point or in this case, a uh, crypto project or product or whatever it happens to be. So for example, instead of calling the API using BTC or Bitcoin, you would use a unique number or hash value to access them. So let's go ahead and take a look for that. Um, if we check cryptocurrency, we can see here it says coin market cap ID map. So if we open that up, this returns a mapping of all cryptocurrencies to unique coin market cap IDs. Okay. So we're going to get name, symbol, token, address. If you saw our CoinGecko video, this is probably related to that. Okay. Now, what is this going to give us, right? So for example, we can see Bitcoin's ID is number one, not surprisingly. Um, so in order to use any of these other endpoints, we're going to need to know the ID for our given uh, token. So let's go ahead and call this over in um, API Connector, and we'll start by copying this endpoint, or we can actually go ahead and copy this entire URL, should work. Um, and we'll head over here to our Google Sheets and we'll open an API connector here. Uh, we can go ahead and paste in our URL path here. And there are no headers or parameters that are necessary for this particular endpoint. So we can run this directly as is. And we'll call this sheet something like IDs, and we'll set the destination seat as current. And then we'll go ahead and say IDs, just to keep the names kind of consistent. We'll save. And when we run this, we're going to see that we get 
an error message, which happens. Don't worry too much about it. Um, we can pop that open and see. We have a timestamp error. Ah, the API key is missing. Rookie mistake. So let's go ahead and head back over to the login. And I'm going to snag that API key that was over here earlier. So you can copy that. And then I believe this is going to be a header. But we can find out if the API key requires a header or a parameter by heading back over to the documentation. And we can see there's some query parameters. I don't see anything about a key. And I don't see any parameters. Hmm. Yeah, so if we scroll up here, we can see authentication. It says using your API key, right? So the preferred method is to use via a custom header named x cmc pro API key, blah, 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 right? So if we copy that, we can put that in here under headers as a key, go back to our account and copy this one, and then we can paste in our API key here. Now it should work. So if we hit save, run, and momentarily we should populate with a list of different names and IDs and symbols, and we'll have an idea of what's what. Okay, so we can see we have a list now. It's quite a lengthy list from the looks of it, roughly... 4,000 something crypto projects. So this is the number we need to know to access the different cryptos uh, using different various endpoints. Yeah, so let's say, for example, we want to get the, the latest market quotes for a given crypto, right? We don't want to get all of them, but we just want to get a select few from our previous uh, IDs that we saw. So let's we can we can get to that by clicking on quotes latest. And we can head here and we can copy this whole URL, the quote slash latest. And then we can head over here and paste that in as our URL path. Now, we're going to need to make a new sheet to put all this data. So we'll call this something like latest quotes with just a regular U, not a big U. And then we'll set that as the current. And remember, we're going to need our API key, but we also need to specify what the ID is. Now, we can, if we see here in the query parameters, um, we're going to have ID and we can make it one or more comma separated cryptocurrency IDs, right? So example one and two. Well, let's go ahead and set that up. Whenever you're setting a query parameter, you'll start with a question mark if it's the first one with the name followed by whatever value you need. So let's just say we want to get uh, Bitcoin and I don't know, Frey coin, Frey, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, so one and 10, for example, right? So if we put this in one ten, um, that should just return these two crypto coins. Now, uh, next we'll need to grab our API key again. And I don't remember what the header was. So let's just check again. The XCMC pro API key. Um, he said in here. Uncopy that. Okay, so it looks good. And we'll want to give this the same name. We'll just call it something like latest quotes just to keep it consistent. You can call it whatever you want to, but I do it that way just because it's easier to find the requests later. Anyway, so we hit save. And then when we hit run, we should see just these two quotes returned. Okay, um, so we can see it looks like it's coming in a little bit of a flat format, which is not a big deal. Um, we can see there's some data on Bitcoin, and then we have the Frey coin over here. Whatever that means. <laughs> Anyways, um, so if you get this kind of weird structure, don't panic. Uh, we have a tool under output options that allows you to twist the data into the structure that you need. So by default, the single row works 99% of the time, but there's going to be cases where this happens. So you can deal with that by pressing compact, usually is the first one to go to. And if we hit run, we'll just hang out for a minute and boom, we can see, okay, that, that handled most of the problem. So there's still a little bit of a space here. Um, but with the premium account of API connector, you're able to use James filtering or uh, James path to be able to clear up some of these gaps and these different unwanted data points. Um, but that's a little bit out of the scope of this tutorial, just for your knowledge, you can reach out to us and uh, all right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. And again, if you have any questions, you can reach out to our support account. 
Um, keep an eye on this YouTube channel. We're going to be releasing more videos to help you stay up to date with uh, how to connect to the latest API services for whatever your data needs are and get them in Google Sheets without having to code. Well, it's a, it's a little bit, but don't worry too much. Um, yeah, so again, if you have anything else, let us know. Have a good one.